Located on a hill overlooking the confluence of the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers, the Iowa State Capitol gleams above the city skyline, the only five-dome capital in the country. Of course, when first constructed between 1871 and 1886, the impressive skyline did not exist. Though tours of the complex and grounds are common, few are fortunate enough to reach the top of its gilded domes. We are the lucky ones. As our guide jangles through his keys, I shuffled onto the elevator, moving beyond the rotunda. It opens onto the top floor, dark and cool, before entering the whispering gallery. Here, those in our party exchange secrets underneath the painted blue of the sky, sounds that I'm told echo down below. Climbing the steps, we pass the very large banner commemorating the Civil War. Looking a lot like a flying kite, it is suspended beneath the ceiling on wires and looks tiny from many floors below. Going further up, we make a quick turn into a narrow spiral staircase. The feet thick openings to small windows provide the only relief. What is not apparent from outside the Capitol, but apparent upon our ascent, is that the building is actually built of brick masonry. We open at the top, greeted by the series of iron catwalks among the steel members that brace the brick dome. Our scene begins to darken and the minute movements of our bodies can be felt as I hang on to the railings which help pull us up, merging upwards with the light. It's as if we are in the bowels of the ship, climbing up to see the remains of the day. Out of breath and exhilarated, we emerge into the crystal clear day and get to see, up close and from above, the dome covered in gold leaf that is so thin that 250,000 sheets pressed together would measure only one inch thick. The views of the domes and the rooftops from the pinnacle are extraordinary. 298 steps to our credit. The bird's eye experience was well worth the arduous journey from below.